Good evening and welcome on this in Macquarie. This is Africa 54. Tonight, we begin in northern Nigeria, where Cameroonian soldiers killed at least 20 Boko Haram fighters on Wednesday uh, during a raid carried out by a multinational force tasked with crushing the terrorists. Military sources say that Islamist fighters were killed in the town of Jibrila, uh, which is about 10 kilometers from the Cameroonian border. Now, the Cameroon Defense Ministry says uh, 12 hostage, hostages were freed and munitions and armored vehicles were seized during the operation. Boko Haram has waged war a six-year campaign of violence in an attempt to establish an Islamic state in northeastern Nigeria. Some of Boko Haram's attacks have spilled over Nigeria's border into neighboring countries, including Cameroon, which has been the target of suicide bombings in recent months. Now, for more on the multinational force operation against Boko Haram, reporter Eugene Fongwa uh, joins me on phone from Yaounde, Cameroon. Good evening, Eugene. Good evening, Vincent. Yes, now, we know that uh, this has been an ongoing operation there. First, start by telling us about the hostages that were released. Uh, where have they been identified uh, to have been from? Yes, um, these were about a dozen hostages that were released um, during the most recent raid inside of Nigeria by Cameroonian forces. Um, these um, hostages are Nigerians, and they have been returned to Nigerian forces on the other side of the border. Uh, Cameroon has been carrying out these raids um, over the last couple of weeks and going into Nigeria, which is a very change in strategy for the Cameroonian forces that for most part stays on its side of the border. Now, uh, there have been attacks in the past in Cameroon. Are things getting any better, especially uh, deeper and deeper inside Cameroon? Not at all. Not at all. Um, the, the, there are small attacks almost on a weekly basis, often not reported. Um, the whole of northern Cameroon is still under high security alert. Um, you remember that Cameroonian forces um, working alongside uh, the forces of the multinational task force have been waging this campaign since 2013. And uh, as we speak, uh, Northern Cameroon remains a major target for Boko Haram that comes in once in a while. Um, over the last couple of weeks, we have seen the number of suicide attacks go up. We've seen the number of uh, landmines that have exploded, some killing top commanding officers in the Cameroonian military force. So from what you hear, does it mean the strategy that is being employed right now is not succeeding that much? Please come again. Uh, is the strategy working, the strategy they're using of pursuing yes, Boko Haram? It is, it, yes, it, it, it has kept um, the, the, the number of attacks at bay. They are now small, highly targeted attacks, which is very different from what we saw toward the end of uh, last year, which were mass invasions of hundreds of Boko Haram fighters. Now what we see are small targeted attacks, mainly of uh, suicide bombers and uh, the landmines that we're beginning to see in greater numbers. Now very quickly, uh, any of the attackers ever been uh, uh, connected to Cameroon itself or are they all coming from Nigeria? Um, it is very difficult to say. Um, it's true that um, some of the fighters have been recruited from inside of Cameroon. You need to know that northern Cameroon and northern Nigeria has the same uh, population structure. There's the same people from the same ethnic group that speak the same local languages. And so it's really difficult to ascertain the identity of the attackers. We know that they're coming from um, outside the border from Nigeria, from northern Nigeria. But they have been reports of uh, recruitment of Cameroonians from the north. Well, Eugene, thank you very much. Uh, Eugene Fongwa uh, reporting from Yaounde, Cameroon.